So we are here with uh, Daniel from uh, Nothing But Noise. Yes. So you, you have just played uh, at the BIM Festival here. So uh, what what was the set list? What did you play basically? Uh, all stuff that was not on the album except one song. Uh, we did a cover also, which uh, we thought would be uh, weird because we throw the public. Uh, I, I'm not sure the the, the guys were. Uh, would uh, know what to expect of us. Uh, you mean the first one, Joy Division? Yeah, so we, we played uh, the Love Tear as a part of Joy Division just to throw them off track. <laughs> um, and I hope it worked. And after that, uh, we played uh, all, almost all new songs except, except uh, Mooglish, that's on the album. The rest is a song for the next album already. Oh, and when is the next album? Uh, There's no plan. Uh, the, the songs are there. We just have to mix them and we wait for a sign from the label or, or, or when we want it because we can finish it and then tell the label it's there. Uh -huh. we don't is it a new album with a new direction or is it uh, consolidating the, 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 the previous album? Yeah, it, it consolidates, but we don't want to take seven albums to to have an evolution and that's what we said uh, earlier in in interviews we had you know we had a starting point that was clear it was the the old crowd rock uh, okay. and and those things but we want to f to evolve fast uh, i would say in a period of three three four albums maximum we want to be at another point that the people still know from where we come but we want you know, evolution. Uh, also, when we play this place or a church, we want to be able to yeah. have a catalogue of pieces that fit in the two places. Yeah. Uh, we also have a lot of s songs, is a, a bad word, yeah. but music that's, that's really noise and that we could play in a factory or something like that. But we also, when you listen to it, you will be able to stamp it and say, oh, it's nothing but noise. Yeah. Uh, so that's the politic of the band, is uh, almost no borders, uh, and uh, yeah, the evolution must be fast. So you mean you, you have uh, reworked uh, the, the tracks for, for this special event? No, for the, the, the tracks we had were already tougher, um, uh -huh. except Mooglish, and all you have to do to uh, adapt Mooglish to uh, another venue like this is put some elements more in front. It's just basically changing the mix and some of the stuff you add, you make it a little bit harder uh, mm -hmm. because it, you know, a ch church or another place, big yeah. reverb, it wouldn't work. So it, basically it's like a cover. You can adapt a cover and play it and make it fit anywhere. Yeah. And uh, on stage, are you using uh, uh, synthesizers and, and computers together? Yes, we use one computer sequencer uh, based on uh, Cubase. Uh, we use uh, four synthesizers uh, that play the sequences. Basically, one does only that, uh, and the other share uh, sequences and uh, playing live. Um, we also have audio, of course, uh, yeah. because we use uh, old analog stuff and there's no memories on them, so yeah. you have to record them audio. Uh, and all the, also what we did for, that was the next stage of our work, is we programmed all the lights now and the lasers, everything oh, yeah. is programmed in Cuba. There's no people working on that. It's all... Uh, yeah. In there, it's of course the first draft because we, we did it uh, three days ago, mm -hmm. but we will work on it and we want a, a complete uh, automated show except yeah. for us. Yeah, you have a, a, a lot of uh, vintage synthesizers at home. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, which one do you prefer? If you, if you had to choose one, it's a difficult question. But... No, no, uh, it, and it's not for the sound or anything, it's just because it it's my first synth. It's the Roland System 100, the, but the old one, it was called 101, 102 and those things, uh, the, the flat one. Uh, but just basically because it's my first synth, uh, not because it sounds better or anything, uh, that, that's it. So uh, in the beginning uh, you were pretty much influenced by Krautrock, by, uh, by, by Tangerine Dream and, the, and, and this kind of stuff? or. The early Tangerine Dream, because 
what they are now is really. No, yeah, I mean yeah, the early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and when I speak of the early, I, I should say I stopped at the third one. Ricochet or? Yeah, I stopped yeah. there. Uh, but all the crowd, uh, close shoulders. Uh, yeah. A lot of, of things that came out there, the sequencing, of course, because that's a big influence even on, on the work we do, uh, even in the electronic music, uh, it's a big influence, the sequencing that they uh, did. And then we went, uh, you know, the, the craft work, uh, the, all the crowd rock, uh, Popol Vuh, Neu, La yeah. Dusseldorf, uh, all, yeah. uh, you know, Konrad Schnitzer. There, there's so many guys yeah. that uh, we like. Uh, I don't know if we took something, but they must have influenced us. Yeah. And what do you think about this, this, this revival of, of, of uh, this kind of music right now? It seems like a lot of people get back to the, the origins, like John Fox and all these kind of... Yeah, uh, when you, you speak of uh, crowd rock, it's especially... John Fox is not... He, he goes back to the beginning of uh, Ultravox more than, than yeah. anything else. But then you have the guys of uh, Portishead, yeah. and that's real crowd rock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and you had that band from England, uh, Eine Kleine... Uh, I don't remember, they have a German name. Uh, you have also uh, Dead in Vegas that did uh, mm -hmm. a very crowd rock album, but it's on a long period. It's not now, you know. Uh, it's it's been busy for uh, a couple of years. Uh, the only <laughs> guys that I would say now is the Beak, and then the uh, the other guy um, uh, that did that album, uh, film music for Judge Dredd, that never came out. Oh, the film came out, but this music wasn't chosen. I don't know if you heard it. Mm -hmm. Also, the guy of Portishead. Mm -hmm. He did everything with uh, two uh, Oberheim, two mm -hmm. voices. Uh, and it has an, a nice crowd rock touch because the limitation of how he worked makes yeah. it sound like that. because. We have to put the limitations in today because yeah. <laughs> everything is unlimited. But they, uh, at that time, that was it. Uh, you know, you mm -hmm. like in the early stages of our band, uh, you had two tracks and you had to do it with yeah. that. And yeah. that's how Can did it. Uh, how a lot of bands yeah. did it, basically. And, and that's, that made their sound. Yeah. And in your, your other project, then you, you are putting really clear limits then. Yeah, uh, uh, the, the Daniel B. Protez, which was my first band even before From 2 for 2. Um, I'm releasing shortly a, a collection of stuff that I did for myself first. Uh, and then, you know, everybody tells you, you should do something with it. And at one point, you don't need anybody to remember that to you, and you do it yourself. And that the clear limitation is uh, no MIDI, uh, mm -hmm. only eight tracks max, and some pieces have only two tracks because I did everything live, um, and things like that. But that's very nice for uh, creativity. Also, because I don't work with sequencers, except sequences that are not synchronized. Arpeggiators. No, no. Basically, it was the, the sequencer I use is on the picture of the on the album. It's the Electroharmonics drum sequencer. It's eight notes. There's an oscillator in it, and that's it. Uh, you don't even go out with CV or anything. Mm. It makes the sound. Uh, and you, th the way I work sometimes was just put LFOs and try to have them sync with the sequencer. And when that succeeded, of course, I recorded that piece. Uh, sometimes it was 30 seconds, sometimes a minute, and then they shift too much because analog doesn't stay in mm -hmm. sync. Yeah. But really liked. Uh, I, when I have, want to have fun, and I don't have a piano where I can, you know, go pling pling pling. Yeah. I, uh, I I put my modeler on. Uh, I have a lot of systems. I even have like portable versions of them, so I can even play when I'm at my parents or something. Um, and I, you know, recording is not a problem anymore wow. today. And when can you expect uh, an album or a production from? from it's your a album? very special uh, product. Uh, it will be limited at 333 exemplars. Uh, it's a, it's two vin vinyls, a 12 inch, a 7 inch, and two CDs, mm -hmm. and nothing is repeated. So if, yeah, you, I did that also because I didn't want the people to put something on and listen from start to end. Mm -hmm. There they, and the CDs are only 40 minutes, I didn't fill them up. 
I, I want them to put on one of the, the four objects and listen to it, and when it's finished, not go and take it, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the, the thing that annoys me today uh, in listening to music is a CD is always 73, 99, yeah. too much music. Yeah. Uh, I prefer vinyl uh, yeah. above everything else. Yeah. Uh, there's also that thing that you have to stand up, go and yeah. change the thing uh, instead of pushing uh, shuffle and listen to music all day. I, I hate yeah. that. Yeah. I can I ask a question about uh, front to photo? Yeah, <laughs> so you, you're doing a break right now. Yeah. So uh, can we expect something in the future? Uh, nothing new. That uh, okay. uh, if we do something new, it's rework or maybe do an, a new intro, but not for a record. Uh, uh -huh. You know, basically we we see ourselves as a, only a live band now. Mm -hmm. And if we do something, it will be even made for live. We will play it only live, and if it comes out on a record, it's a live recording. Yeah. Uh, that's basically how we see ourselves. We don't see ourselves doing our, another record. Uh, there was there was there were some rumors that there would be a new new stuff. We coming. did try. Uh, yeah. We did try. Uh, it didn't work out. We weren't happy uh, yeah. with the results. Uh, we always have put, uh, you know, a level very uh, high, very high, and we we weren't happy. Doing a repeat of what we were yeah. is not good enough. No. And when you go too far, we saw that with spells, the people, yeah, you know, and it's, you know, I still have people now that say, today I understand the album off, and that's 20 years ago, yeah, you know, exactly, and. There's so many things to rediscover. Yeah, after. and I don't want today to to bring out an album that will be discovered in 15 years. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. interest me. Okay, Daniel, thank you very much thank for you this for interview. interview. Bye bye.